Yeah. My power cord came back connected. Well, welcome to Northern Ants. We are out fishing. It was nice the sun wasn't really shining when I first started coming out here, but now it is. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. We're sitting about 12, 12 and a half, 13 foot of water. And it's, as, I, as you saw earlier, right along in here, it's all like 35, 40 foot of water. And we were marking some fish in that deeper stuff, so put some lines out there and see if we can't get something. We are marking some fish right here. At uh, They're sitting about eight, eight and a half foot. So we will we'll see. Get to put them out with no bobber because it's uh, pretty deep so the chances of weed are real small. first pull. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning, so we're probably not looking walleye, maybe northern, but never know. I have not fished this spot before, so we'll see. We might be able to hook into something. And so we're, so they're just got two more marked right below us at about six foot, so I might leave a bobber on one of these and just kind of throw it towards shore. Oh, monster. Just had a 
big one go by underneath the boat. I'm marking a whole, mo whole mess of them, so I think we will leave Bob on this one and put maybe put a little bit smaller minnow on this one and just hook it through the back. Usually don't fish this time of day, but eh, what the heck? I think we'll, what we're gonna do. Stand up for a second here, cause I want to try to set this at about about six foot, cause they've been going by about between six and a half to eight foot. So uh, that will want it a little bit higher, cause then they'll look up. Usually looking up, maybe they'll see it. Yeah, maybe not. Wait, we're gonna put it just just back there because if they're swimming through, like, there's a good chance that they'll be right back there. And we got our last line here. I'm gonna throw a, uh, throw a night crawl around this one. I I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I should leave the bobber on this one or not. Put a bobber on this one. With the crawler, I'm thinking maybe we will. I, I, and put it towards shore. Cause I'm, I, I should have went in closer to shore to see what the depths were in there. But we are continuously marking some fairly decent sized fish swimming under the boat. have to get into Hayward and get some jumbo leeches. So my neighbor was saying that he caught two walleye on on small leeches the other night when we were fishing off the pier. I didn't download upload any video footage from that because I didn't I didn't get any bites or anything so you can only put out so many videos where you don't catch fish. <laughs> so that's why I'm hoping that we can hook into something today so that it makes it worth putting the video out. We'll see what the weather's like tomorrow. I might do some trout fishing tomorrow. I was thinking about it today, but... And I got into my system to want to try to... fish boat. Yeah, we're going to put this one towards Shortmore with the crawler on it. Okay, now it's the enjoy the, the weather and the scenery and do the part of fishing that's a uh, fishing and not catching. Stay 
thousand for sun tubing. Right, and thinking it maybe a rock pile. Chumming. It's called chumming.
Well, didn't, didn't get anything, but still a great day out there. Well, it was not very long, but long enough to, you know, get a feel for what the fishing was going to be like today in early time of the day like this. I think I'm going to go head out and do some trout fishing, so. There's a trout right here in front of me. Not very big, but do something. If I can get him to bite. It's a pretty small one, though. right there. This I like I've got my polarized sunglasses on today too and the sun is shining so that makes it even better yet. Yes I can go without catching a tree. Tree. Go to the top of the branch. Kind of draw the fish in. Okay, he's looking at me. Got it. Oh, he's under a branch. better size. Let me get my landing net out here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Pretty much the first cast, first fish. And this will be a keeper. Gotta get my to my zipper. Can't really show you all that part of it, but and then you take one of these and what I do is run it over this lip. Feel like that. And I can sit down that along with me. Hey, a little bitty guy coming after it, so we're going to keep moving down. Keep watching for the bigger ones. through here. Imagine the really nice sized ones are up in there. Yeah, a lot of getting out of branches cut out. <laughs> Spot. 
be interesting because it's a it's a deep deep pocket and I'm, we'll see how deep it gets up on my waist. Okay, here we go. This is where we want to be. Oh yeah, there's definitely something in there. And it keeps grabbing it and then letting go. You take on my bait. No, nope. oh, nice size one. I saw him coming up after it. They're not like he's fighting it, but he's spitting it right back out. In those rapids up there. Saw the one coming after it was pretty nice size. I think my I'm gonna try putting a little better bait on there. Put it onto the middle. Push the hook all the way down the middle, almost to the tip, and then poke the hook through. It covers the whole hook. And when they come to grab the end, they get the hook too. So. Oh, <laughs> something hit right away. There we go. Oh, there we got him. That's a nice one. Okay. Much better. Okay, let's get our bait. We're going to have ourselves a good trout meal as long as I get them. Pretty one. Really nice. And then went on my worm. <laughs> okay. I want to get my, before I give him any slack, get my next hook up here. I'll do it. Right through his mouth. That way. Now I know I've got him. Now I can, there we go. It was a little bit smaller than the first one. Real nice. Get them back in the water. Okay, now we grab some more worm. Nagged. Shoot. I guess we will make it to the bridge. If I can't get my hook out, I'm going to have to walk past that spot to get to my hook. Probably on a branch. Oh yeah, it's moving. Okay. Throw it over here towards the end of the little rapid area right here. See what we can get. Might be something sitting under that tree. tree. <laughs> okay, well, this is going to be interesting walking through here. Especially now I got to... <gasps> yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's up to my... yeah. <laughs> Takes out the breath. <laughs> Yeah, it's up to my waist. If you didn't tell, it got to a certain area. And <laughs> Professional. <laughs>
something how quickly it comes up right here. Okay, let's see if we can push right up in there. Something up in that area. Before we walk past it. Oh, there's something. That's a nice that's a nice one. It's given more of a fight than the other ones did. I don't know. How big is he? Not bad. Uh, a little bit smaller than... I think I'll let that one go. Yeah, I think I'm going to let that one go. Not... Yeah, I might have to keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this one because he's he's got it too swallowed to let him go. Yeah, definitely gonna have to keep this one. I was hoping that I would be able to let him go to save one of my slots for a bigger one, but if I let him go, he's just gonna die anyway. So he was he had it too swallowed too much, so if I let him go, he'd probably just die anyway. Uh, yeah, a little small, but that I want, but better that than have them float downstream. Okay, let's get one cast in there. Oh, nice. Okay, we just had a bite. Something's going after it. Okay, got something. Wow, beautiful fish. in the water as long as we can. That's a nice one. Let's get over by the bank so we can put our pole down. There we go. Beautiful fish. Oh well. Well, okay. Well, I guess uh, it was meant to meant to go free. That one was. I think I need to put some better bait on. Let's get it. Let's get this line in. Put some better worm. Hoping for a monster. Uh oh. Shoot. That's a. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Caught on the tree on the other shoreline. That would not be good. Because I don't know how deep that is through there, and I can't like walk over to it. Oh my goodness! Something. Something big just right there. Holy cow. I just cut my bait. Wow. Holy cow. That was a nice fish. 
two of them. <laughs> I don't know if it picked it up on the camera or not. I'm not sure exactly what they were either. It just he sucked it right off the hook. And there was two of them that came up after it, so only one of them got the food. Okay, something. Okay, what is it? Oh, wow, it's got some fight. What is it? Oh, it's a bluegill. Big one. Big bluegill. Holy cow. Think we'll keep that one too. Go trout fishing and catch bluegills. <laughs> That's what came up and stole my bait. and catch the blue gal. <laughs> well, it'd be nice if there was a couple of them. I saw that other one in there. It was uh, probably about the same size. Oh, oh, oh. I think. Yep, right here. Another blue gal. Yeah, it is. Another nice, another nice size one. Not as big as the last one, but... Eh, I don't know. This one... Oh, it's got a wound on its side. Not as big as the other one. Whoop! Oh, oh, well. That one was a little... A little fat, too, so... I think it was... Probably spawning. It was a good one to let go. Well, one more big trout under those branches up in there. That little bit if there's like a darker hazy area. Seems like they're right up in there and if it gets out of that spot they leave it. Yup, yup, something's going after it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's big as it oh, not bad. We'll do is if it comes off, then we'll let it go. If it doesn't, then we catch it. Oh, nice one. Oh, wow. Yeah, don't want that one to come off. That's one we want to keep. That's a flay. He was hooked underneath the. That's a, that's a nice fish right there. Okay. I was thinking about stopping at Namakagan River to try fishing, but we don't need any more fish. We got them right there. All but that one little one. I don't care much for, but that was more of a necessity. Okay. Well, we're going to start our walk out of here. We don't need to... I'm not going to put any more bait on it. I could keep another one, but... Just in case if it's a small one and hurt it, I don't really want to do that. So, Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the first part of the video where we were out on the lake. Didn't really get any bites, but it was a beautiful day. And then the second part, we actually had a lot of activity. Caught some real nice fish. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, hit that like button. Comment down below what you think. 
And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that right now. I would really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Well, this video has ended. But the nice thing is, is if you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, you'll get notifications when the next video comes out. Take this opportunity to go over to my homepage and check out some of my other videos. I have a wide variety of different topics, so I hope you enjoy them. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.